there's a, there's a children's electric scooter that you can get across the world, particularly in the US, and it's like an aluminium scooter with an electric uh, motor on the back wheel, and it's called a, a Razor scooter. And if you, if you ring their spares department, you can buy the rear wheel assembly, that, which is axle, bearing, sprocket, all in one unit, done for you, so you don't need a machine shop. Okay. And then these motors are electric scooter motors from eBay and the sprocket come, the small sprocket comes on them. So all you have to do is arrange them and shorten the chain. But a bike shop will shorten the chain for you if you don't know how to do it. So that's the uh, mechanical side. Um, this has lithium batteries. The whole deck is two centimetres deep and it's filled with 88 lithium batteries. It's seen here. That, that's an electric bike battery from Hong Kong, uh, dismantled and reassembled flat, which is very difficult to do without frying some of the cells. Um, under there is the, uh, the battery balancing unit that comes with the charger, which sits under there. Um, that's the, that's, that contains the gyro and the accelerometer, which you need to balance. It's got another gyro in it, which is called a headlock gyro, which keeps it going in a straight line, like toy helicopters. It keeps it pointing in one direction until you get a steering command. Otherwise, it tends to spin you off if you hit a, a small stone or something under one of the wheels. Um, the Arduino here is reading the nunchuck. So you, you steer it like this. You can fine-tune the balance point by doing this. And that's the dead man switch. So if you let go, it cuts the power. So if you press this button, you can steer it using the accelerometers in the nunchuck, uh, which impresses people, but it's actually easier to use the joystick. Um, I do have a wireless nunchuck which plugs in here, um, but it won't work in this environment because we've got a Tesla coil over there, and there's so much radio frequency noise, it, it just doesn't work. But it is actually wireless when I'm at home. So we had to buy this today, um, yesterday morning. It's also got pressure sensors here and here. So well, the idea is when, you, when you're riding it on the wireless chuck, you turn off the wireless nunchuck and you start to steer it just by leaning. There is a guy in France who's built one with a pressure sensor under each wheel. Daleks in the States? I don't <laughs> think so. No. They're a bit of a national institution. They haven't been made them yet. It's only a matter of time. Oh yeah, that will come soon. This one, costs quite a, this one cost me a lot of money. It's got expensive batteries in. So I then thought, how, how cheaply and low cost can I make a self-balancing skateboard? Because I was here last year and lots of students and people were saying, can I build one? I said, yeah, it would cost you a lot of money. So this one costs about uh, about $500 maybe, without the batteries. Because the, the point is, once it balances, you can then spend more money on batteries, because you know it works. So in, in, initially, it has lead-acid batteries that are relatively cheap. It's the same Chinese scooter motors. I put it on instructables. If you can't weld, you can make a frame for these wheels just using metal brackets from a, a local DIY store. And the, audio, the version on Instructables uses uh, bond together bracketry. So if you look here, well, that's the wheel set for the scooter, that's how it comes. So it takes a lot of hard work out for you. Uh, I use these brackets like this. So there's several guys in the US who, who built them using this kind of approach. Um, so we've got an Arduino. Do you want me to take top off? No live when I come level, so I'm not cheating using the table.
Walking on line, need to say this one again Everybody faded in there You got the ladies and dressing like this kind of shit Back in the middle of all like the L.A. But it's BYOB, we young, but growing.